A young man dates a girl with the wrong kind of friends. That girl's so weird. I heard she was like a witch. Don't worry. He'll be gone soon enough. For years, he's pursued by an invisible terror. I couldn't breathe. And I felt like I was choking. And now, it's after those he loves most. I'm pregnant. What are we going to do? I felt two hands just push me. What can I do to protect my family? In America, there is real evil. It lurks in the darkest shadows and in our most ordinary towns. Between the worlds we see Someone's in my room. and the things we fear, there are doors when they are opened. Nightmares become reality. In 2007, Lee Moore begins having terrible nightmares. Lee, wake up. You okay? Oh, I had the craziest dream. I started having these crazy dreams. In my mind, I had the feeling of being watched and something being right behind you. It sounded like air moving, but it was almost like it was humming. And it, and it was kind of like a shriek. But his girlfriend, Alyssa, is less than sympathetic. Did you pick up the coffee? I'm sorry, I wasn't feeling well. I came straight home. Great, just great. When Alyssa and I started dating, I was 18. It was a good relationship, you know, we were supportive of each other. I did see us having a future together. I was praying for a long-lasting relationship. For the past few weeks, Alyssa has been arguing with him about petty things. Hey, what's wrong? I just asked you to do one thing. One thing. Baby, I look. I know I screwed up. I'll make it up to you, I promise. You bet you will. Don't you have work today? Yeah, oh, I gotta go. What are you doing today? Well, Cheryl's coming over soon. Cheryl? Once she started hanging out with Cheryl, her attitude towards me kind of started to get a little bit more sour. Alyssa just basically did a 180 turn. She went from, you know, humble, nice, caring, to very dark, irritable. I don't know why you hang out with her. That girl is so weird. I heard she was like a witch. I like her, she understands me. Alyssa told me Cheryl was a self-proclaimed witch. I'm like, what do you mean witch? Witchcraft, dark magic? Yeah, she's part of a coven in this area. There's a lot of them. And I'm thinking, why are you hanging out with her? There's something about her. Well, I'll get used to it. She's my friend and she listens to me. Maybe you should try that. Look, I know I've been working a lot lately, but it is all for us. I gotta get ready, but I'll make dinner tonight. I promise. Over the next few weeks, Alyssa and her new friend begin hanging out more and more. I don't know why you like him. He doesn't even appreciate you. I know. I just don't have the heart to break up with him. Yeah, don't worry. He'll be gone soon enough. I just don't think we did the right thing. We call upon you. We did the right thing. You two aren't meant for each other. You deserve so much better. Just give it time. I guess. Trust me. This is gonna work. I was driving home and I pulled in the driveway. And I saw something floating above the house. It didn't have a shape, it was just a big black mass. And all of a sudden, I got this really twisting feeling in my stomach. Are you okay? What happened? Oh, I saw this black thing above the house. 
What are you talking about? There's nothing there. I know what I saw. Cheryl, I'll give you a call tomorrow. Come on, let's get you inside. Well, Cheryl, her attitude towards me was kind of weird. But the feeling was mutual. Just something about it rubbed me wrong. I don't know about her. She gives me the creeps. Yeah, well, you're not perfect either. Her demeanor was dark. Something wasn't right. But Cheryl's presence is not the only thing giving Lee the creeps. The feeling that I had within the next couple of days was something was not right in the house. Alyssa! room I thought I heard someone in there what is wrong with you lately you're scared of everything no I'm serious I heard someone in the room Alyssa she saw me she's like well you know you're just imagining it maybe I'm just tired <sighs> hey did you wash my baseball shirt uh, you know the one my favorite one I can't find it anywhere I had a shirt that was one of my favorite ones from high school. And I asked Alyssa, and she's like, I don't know what happened with it. Shirt? No. Um, I haven't seen it. Here. When I asked her, she's had this very deceiving uh, demeanor about it. I'm going to be late for work. We were becoming distant. It was very evident. She didn't talk to me like she used to. You know, she didn't seem like the person that I'd fallen in love with. As time goes by, Lee grows more concerned about his relationship. I couldn't put my finger on it. You know, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what's going on here. Alyssa, I thought you went to bed. I thought somebody's trying to break in, somebody's trying to steal something. I grabbed the gun, went to the front, and I loaded it, cocked it. I wasn't gonna let that happen. Get out of here! I'll shoot! The bullets were going right through it, and it just didn't seem like it phased it at all. is being haunted by an invisible creature. Stay away! I knew the intent of it was, I'm going to kill you. You are not gonna live. I was fearing for my life. I thought that I was gonna die right there. <laughs> I woke up in a cold sweat. 
I was very terrified. Lee chooses not to tell his girlfriend, Alyssa, for the past few months. She hasn't shown much interest in his well-being. We were becoming distant. It was very evident. She didn't talk to me like she used to. Her attitude towards me was very sour. She would ignore me. And at that point, I was starting to give up. In early 2007, the couple goes their separate ways. She seemed relieved that I was done. After Alyssa and I had split, I'd moved back to St. Louis. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna focus on myself right now, try to make something of myself. And one day, a new woman enters his life. Hey, babe. Hey. How about you a drink? Thank you. That looks good. That looks good, right? <laughs> After dating only a few months, the couple gets married. You wanna take a break? Sure. I met Claire. And when I met her, I t figured out what I wanted. And Claire just seemed like it was all there. I fell in love with her. The, you know, they say love at first sight's not real. Yeah, it is. You tired? <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really coming together, though. Mm -hmm. What I love about Lee is he's, he's just so sweet. We were ready for um, a serious relationship. We were ready to settle down. We were ready to have children in the future. I just can't believe that it's all ours. <laughs> it's all ours. Even the broken furnace of the dishwasher that never works, but it's ours. <laughs> well, I think that the dishwasher is perfect. Plus, if it breaks, you can just do the dishes. Oh, I can do them? Mm -hmm. Getting the house, that was definitely the start of our new beginning together, our yeah. chance to be a family of our own. Over the next few days, the newlyweds settle into their home. Guess what I just found? All of our engagement photos. Nice, nice. You got my favorite one in there? Yes. <laughs> That's it. Then I started hearing knocks. And for me, they seemed kind of odd. What was that? It sounded like a fist. Somebody was knocking. But it was coming from inside the house. It was probably just the furnace. You know it's on its last leg. I'm OK. <laughs> you figure out the noise? No, I can't hear it coming from anywhere now. Well, I'm sure it's just the pipes. I'm sure you're right. <laughs> Come on. Oh. I am exhausted. Me too. Mm -hmm. I figured it was just an old house, you know, pipes, house settling, the wind even. So we brushed it off. I heard a big crash in the front room. And I'm thinking, oh my god, somebody just broke in. Claire. I heard something. What? I think someone's in the house. Stay here.
Lemur is being terrorized by something or someone in his new home. The coffee table I picked up and slid. I was very terrified. That was the most scared I'd ever been in my life at that point because I didn't know what was happening. Lee? You okay? Just by the look of him, I knew that something was definitely, definitely not right. The coffee table flipped over on its own. Someone was in the house? I don't know. I didn't see anyone. Okay, just calm down. You're not making any sense. The table flipped over on its own. How does that happen? Something weird is going on here. What are you talking about? I feel like there's a presence in this house or something. Like it, it's haunted? I was open-minded to the paranormal, but uh, I didn't sit around and think, you know, oh, my house is haunted. Where's reaction was kind of a blank stare at me, like, did you just seriously say paranormal? I don't know, but I know what I saw, Claire. Over the next few days, Lee's anxiety grows. It was stressful. The feeling of this house, when we were in it, you could cut the tension with a knife. There was like a black cloud over it. At the time, I didn't know what to think. The couple desperately tries to carry on with life as usual. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, so my mom called. She said they're thinking about coming down for a bit. That'd be great. Maybe they can stay for a month this time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. I love your parents. Hey, I'm going to clean this stuff up. Would you mind getting me the rake from over there? Yeah, sure. Appreciate it. When I got to the shed, I started to feel like something was watching me. <laughs> I felt two hands just push me, like a grown man's hands. And I did not trip. There was nothing for me to trip over. It freaked me out. What happened? <laughs> Something pushed me. There's nothing here. I'm telling you, two hands pushed me. Claire's demeanor was very upset. She was terrorized. But she's like, how could this happen? I believe you. Let's get you inside. It's very terrifying, but it also makes you feel helpless. You know, I took a vow to protect my wife and everything, but I couldn't protect her from that. It was an eye opener. Lee decides to take action and research paranormal investigators. That was a realization for me. This is not good. I told Claire, we're gonna get to the bottom of it. We're gonna figure it out. You know, we've made it this far. We've been through a lot so far. We're gonna pull through this. So I got to looking up teams in the area. Later that evening, I was taking a bath because I needed to calm down. After I got pushed down, I realized that this probably is not something to be playing around with. I started to think, if it's able to push me down, what else will it do? Am I safe to be alone in the house? And I started to have this uneasy feeling. Lee, you're scaring me.
Lee? Claire Moore has sensed a terrifying being in her house. And it was definitely masculine. It had a human face with yellow eyes that just glowed. You mean like the thing I saw in my dreams? Claire and I realized we were both seeing the same thing. That realization started to make me fear for my life. I have to tell you something. What? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Hey, this is good. This is great news. We wanted this. This is great. <laughs> Not like this. I was happy. I was excited. But at the same time, I was fearful. <laughs> what are we going to do? What can I do to protect my family? I was not going to give up on this. I was going to make sure my child came into a happy, healthy household that she did not have to live in fear. Wasting no time, the couple invites a local paranormal expert to investigate the house. Hi. When I met Lita, just something rubbed me really wrong with her. She had this weird look to her, kind of like a dark feeling with her. I'm Lee, and this is my- I need silence. But she's an investigator. She knows what she's doing. She's here to help. So I looked at Claire, I'm like, you know what? We're gonna trust her. We need to do an EVP session this way. And we started to do a EVP session slash communicating with it, see if it was there. When I pass you the recorder, you must ask the entity a question. Let us begin. Are you human in nature? Are you with this house? Why did you hurt me? Are you demonic? Babe? Lee didn't look like he felt well. He looked like he might throw up. Are you okay? Lee? Lee, can you hear me? Lee? What's happening? Lee, Lee, can you hear us? I don't know. And in a raspy, growl-sounding voice, he said, I don't know. That voice wasn't my husband's voice. Lee? What happened? All of a sudden, I got this really twisting feeling in my stomach, and I felt numb. What happened? You were like a, a different person. This is more serious than I initially expected. I believe what you have here is demonic. Demonic? She said, you guys have got a full-on demonic case. A benevolent spirit wouldn't have the power to attack Lee like this. I will find someone to do a cleansing. Someone from the church. The feeling I had when I heard that, my stomach dropped. My body went numb. Hearing the word demon, not ghost, not spirit, but demon, that this whole thing was a demonic entity that was terrorizing us, it sent chills down my spine. Lita sends demonologists to investigate the property. My name is Kenneth Thiel, and I'm a Roman Catholic demonologist. We are recognized by the local diocese, and we train and advise priests to run the United States and abroad. Tim, 
here. And its presence is strong. My stomach clutched and my throat clutched. Usually, this sort of physical reaction is my first indicator that something's wrong. This is where we had the EVP session with Lita. And it's also where Lee was attacked for the first time. It happened right here. Ken and Farah agreed after walking through the property and around the house that this definitely was a demonic entity. And they needed to do a cleansing immediately, not only because it was demonic, but because I was pregnant, that made the issue even more pressing. These will help protect you. I'll need you to remain in constant prayer with us. You have to reclaim your home. You have to take a stance. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. Thrust into hell, Satan, and all the other evil spirits. What a cleansing involves is the absolute expulsion of any negativity or anything that could possibly harm the family. The wickedness and the snares of the devil. The blessing itself adjures Christ to kick Satan and whatever his minions are off the property by the owner of the property giving us the authority and legal right to do so. Defend us in battle. Be our protector against the wickedness and snares of the devil and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world. Keep praying, keep praying. I couldn't breathe and I felt like I was choking. While experts attempt to evict a demon from Lee and Claire's home, Lee comes under attack. Keep praying, keep praying. Say, Michael, be our angel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the rule of souls. You're safe. It's gone. <sighs> Thank you. The feeling was amazing. Um, being like, oh my gosh, you know, we got our house here. It just felt clearer. So I don't understand. What happened? Was it something that I did? Sometimes we unknowingly let these things in. Have you ever sought out the spiritual world? No. Well, we did that. Um that EVP session with Lita, but that was after this had already started. Maybe it was someone you know, someone close to you. Do you know anyone in the occult or who has experimented with the dark arts? Cheryl. Who? You remember I told you about my ex-girlfriend? She had that really weird friend that claimed she was a witch. When we were talking to Lee and Claire, we realized that Lee had a past where his ex-girlfriend and her friend were dabbling in the dark arts, the witchcraft, a form of uh, black magic. Do you know of any reason your girlfriend or her friend would want to cause you harm? I don't know about her. Yeah, well, you're not perfect either. Well, when Alyssa met Cheryl, something changed. She got more aggressive with me. Do you remember anything going missing? something that was important to you. Did you wash my baseball shirt? Shirt? I haven't seen it. A shirt. I had this shirt, this baseball shirt. I asked Alyssa about it, and she just got weird all of a sudden, just went missing. We believe that with the ritual done with the T-shirt that was done by his ex-girlfriend and her girlfriend, using black magic was definitely something that created a, a, like a curse, an attachment to affect Lee. I believe you were cursed. This better work. I can't stand having him around much longer. This is the best way, trust me. Now, did you do what I asked? We need something that's meaningful to him. Here. Perfect. Perfect. 
We call upon you. Drive away this man. We call upon you. Drive away this man. We call upon you. Hearing that fact that they sent this thing after me, it's kind of shocking. Alyssa went from loving me to death to hating me within a short amount of time. But why did all of this happen to us? I never even knew Alyssa. Well, the curse was attached to Lee, laying dormant. But then when you two got married, it became active again. The demon lay dormant, and sometimes it'll just hide for the right time. Well, what's a perfect opportunity to mess him up? And when Lee met Claire, he's got a shot of happiness. He's going to be a man. He's going to raise a child. And that's the opportunity to come in and step in. They're very strategic. Don't worry. You're safe now. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Over the next few months, the couple experiences no activity. I could breathe easier. I felt like a huge fog had just been lifted on the house. The feeling of being watched wasn't there anymore. I could live in my house again. She's moving a lot tonight. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> One afternoon, the couple gets a surprise visit from Lita, who was the first paranormal investigator to come to their home. Hey, Lita. We're kind of in the middle of something, Lita. You don't understand. The demon is still here. I had a vision. What are you talking about? Everything's been fine since I did the cleansing. You have to do another cleansing. It's laying dormant. I have to do a cleansing. When Lita said that, I was kind of taken aback. The, the house still felt clear. We were still happy. Nothing had changed from when the cleansing had happened. It was definitely off-putting. I'll start in the back bedroom. OK. But with their daughter on the way, Lee doesn't take any chances. What if she's right? She's not right. Let's let her go, and she'll be out of here soon. My take on it was there's never enough help. We were about a month and a half from our baby being born. And my thing was I didn't want anything happening. After Lita left, we just kind of brushed it off. We had more important things to focus on. The baby was coming. Visit DestinationAmerica.com. Lee, wake up! Lee Moore appears to be under attack by a demonic force in his home. I need an ambulance. My husband, I don't know. Please just hurry. All I could think about was the fact that I'm going to lose my husband. 
At the hospital, Lee is rushed to the intensive care unit. His liver and kidneys are shutting down, but the doctors have no medical explanation as to what's happening to him. Claire, I'm afraid I don't have good news. We're concerned about him making it through the night. And if he does, there's a chance that he may have severe brain damage. I'm sorry. <laughs> he is placed in a medically induced coma while they search for answers. I thought, I'm going to have to raise this baby alone. Nurse, get me a wheelchair, now. We have to get her to labor and deliver. In that moment, when the doctor told me that it wasn't likely that he was going to live, I was so shocked. I felt like my world was done. Hearing the news, the demonologists following his case rushed to his side to perform a deliverance. Thank you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When I saw Lee, I was 100% sure that the demon had followed him and attached to him, and it was going to take him any way it could. We both knew that if we did not intercede, Lee was going to die. We blessed him with oil. We put a St. Benedict medal on his forehead and one on his chest, and I brought in the cross. Delivering Lee from this thing was a huge focus. It's literally almost a do or die. Father, Father in heaven, heaven rebuke, rebuke these evil, evil spirits and their, and their effects, effects and, and cast, cast them, them away from, from Lee. Lee. Father, we, we now place his and our enemies into your hands. You, you are all powerful. You are God. You are our Heavenly, our Heavenly Father. Father. We, beg we beg you through the intercession of the angels and saints for the deliverance of Lee, who is enslaved by the evil one. When we witness signs like Lee's eyes fluttering, his body jerking, these signs are indicative that his soul is in the battle and he's fighting for his life. May God rebuke you. Cast Satan into hell. It's gone. Is everything OK? Yes. He seems to be improving, but I'm going to get the doctor. It was nothing short of miraculous. We were just so amazed and so happy at the same time. Lee was delivered by God. Over the next several days, Lee continues to improve and is reunited with his wife, Claire. When I woke up, seeing her for the first time was like, where have you been all my life? It was just like, I just came through the gauntlet. And there she was. And it was just like I'd seen her for the first time. Thank you so much for saving him. I still don't understand, though. Everything was great. Farah and Kenneth return to explain what they believe happened to Lee. Claire told us about Lita coming back to the house. We believe that after the cleansing we performed, the demon was invited back. Ken and Farah said that the demon was able to do what it did to Lee because of the cleansing that Lita had done. We believe she brought it back. Mixing many religious beliefs while dealing with the spirit realm, it's very dangerous. The demon is still here. I have to do a cleansing. She went ahead and proceeded to do these methods that are considered pagan. And when Lita did these mixed rituals, it opened up a can of worms. When you use methods, that are calling to other gods, you're opening yourself up to more demons. 
So how do we know that it won't come back again? As long as you continue steadfast in your spiritual life, you won't have to worry. God is protecting you. My belief is without the help of Ken and Farrah and God working through them and what the doctors did, I wouldn't be here. Because with them expelling that, getting it off of my body, getting it away from my spirit, basically it saved my life. This is the biggest miracle of all. Meet your daughter. The moment I held her for the first time, that's a whole different love. This was my victory. I got to hold my daughter. She's probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. It was definitely one of the best moments of my life, seeing my husband, who I, I thought was gone, holding the daughter that I didn't think he was going to get to see. Not a lot of people can say that they lived through what I went through. And Claire, you know, she stood by my side the whole time. We came through this. We faced this thing head on, and we, we won. But at the same time, you're thinking, I just faced a demonic spirit head on. It makes you wonder what all else is out there. Thank <laughs> you.